Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Nicole Vignola Show. Today we're going to be talking about how to reignite that spark in your long-term relationship. Maybe you've been married, maybe you've been together forever, and it just feels like it's all a little bit flat. Maybe you look at your partner and you think, you are not doing anything for me. Maybe you look at them as a business partner. Maybe you look at them as a roommate. Maybe you look at them and you think, I actually don't even know if I love you anymore. Being dramatic, you do. If you're unsure, then please go back on my YouTube channel because I do have some videos on this. I have one specific one that is around three signs that you are ready to leave. But this is for those that are very much in love, very much in a committed relationship, but you just feel like you need to reignite the spark. We feel like maybe it's impossible. Let me tell you, you absolutely can. It is not impossible and I'm here to help. Guys, I would love it if you could please like, comment and subscribe. You'll be helping the channel grow. And yeah, without further ado, I want to begin by saying, do you remember that first time, that first period where everything was just so exciting, so thrilling, like you could just mm, go to bed at 1am, it doesn't matter, I don't care because I just want to talk to you. I don't know, and then a year, two years down the line, you're like, "Mm -mm, I need my sleep, leave me alone, don't even look at me. (laughs) Well, That is because there's a neurobiological shift that happens. Interestingly, for the first 18 months, give or take, let's round it up to 18 months, between a year to two years, there's a very high surge of dopamine. Dopamine loves unpredictability. You don't know this person very well. You don't know how they're going to behave in a particular scenario. You want to get to know them. You don't know everything about them. And so the brain is like, let's continue to find out about this person. This is exciting. Let's go on a crazy adventure. Let's buy a van and whatever. And then what happens is that dopamine subsides. It goes back to baseline. And that's not a bad thing. Because what's happened in that period is that you actually fostered a really beautiful, loving, long-term relationship that is based on mutual trust and respect. The problem is that during this period, people think that the spark is gone, that it is boring. But I'm going to tell you, you cannot fake love and security in the initial parts of the relationship. Yes, you can fall in love within two months. Research shows we can fall in love within two to three months, okay, which is wild. Even sooner, depending on the context. And men tend to fall in love quicker than women. But that long-term commitment that comes after really knowing each other You can't fake that in the beginning, but you can reinstill the dopamine in the long-term part of the relationship. So when that dopamine subsides, you can bring it back in. You see what I'm saying? You can't instill that long-term nurturing in the beginning. Yes, there'll be nurturing and safety, of course, that's what got you to this point. But truly knowing each other you can't, you can't force that and you shouldn't either. That's the whole point is that it's fun. But what I'm trying to say is that you can reinstill that dopamine, that fun, that excitement. So here are five tips on how to reignite the spark in your relationship. Number one, kiss like you mean it. When was the last time you kissed your partner without it leading to something else, if you know what I mean? Just kiss them for the hell of it. Just kiss them because you can. Kiss them good morning. Kiss them in another day. Kiss them randomly. Studies show that one in five couples don't kiss each other for an entire week sometimes. Kiss spontaneously and commit to it. Put on a timer. I know it sounds clinical. Maybe a mental timer. Kiss for a whole minute without it needing to lead to something. Just because you can. That is going to reinforce that bond. It's going to release oxytocin. It's going to make you feel alive. It's going to actually instill that little bit of source that you've been looking for, that tingliness. By the end of the day, you might end up in a different situation if you started kissing in the morning. Kiss each other goodbye. Hug each other. Hold each other. When we kiss unexpectedly, it increases dopamine. Dopamine loves unpredictability. It is fun. It makes you feel good. So do it more. Tip number two is to use flirtatious messages as a dopamine trigger. Doesn't need to be elaborate. Doesn't need to turn into a whole sexting situation. But when we instill anticipation 
it activates our reward centers. So a nice little message that maybe says, I can't wait to see you later. Or, I don't want to get much sleep tonight. Something along the lines of being able to just imply something. Because even though it feels like you might not be in the mood for it, when you start to drip feed those little sentences, it starts to plant a seed in your brain and activate parts of it that then want to go forth and attain that reward. That is your lover. That is your person. Number three, try and inject some novelty in your routine. So maybe you want to add in a random date. Maybe you book a spontaneous trip if you have the finances to do so. Maybe you plan a date where you go to the spa or you buy tickets to a concert. Have you noticed that every time you guys go on a fantastic date, like you go and see that artist you really love, you then feel closer? It's because what happens in life is that we start to live in a coexistence with people, thinking, tricking ourselves into believing that that is intimacy. That's not intimacy. You're just in close proximity. When you associate fun with the person you're with, it reminds you of the best parts of them. Because when we get those reps in every day about how they leave their laundry out or they don't put the milk away, all the things you don't like about them, that gets repeated over and over and over again. And we need to counter that. Actually, this person is great. Actually, this person is fun. It's not that you guys have changed. It's that you've settled in. You can absolutely settle back up. That's the great thing about life is that we have free will. Use it. Tip number four, put your phones away. When you come home after a long day and you're sitting on the sofa, talk to each other. Play some games. Get a backgammon set. Play some cards. Play some Uno. Play some charades. Chess. Monopoly. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to play. Cluedo. So I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing out words now. What do you mean? That's a great game. Try and spend quality time with one another. When we're scrolling on our phones, again, all we're doing is just coexisting with somebody. And yes, memes can be fun. Look, memes are hilarious. Haha, <laughs> look at this. That's hilarious. That's a different situation. But again, it's like you want to make sure that you're also instilling some real life things. Build a puzzle together. There I go. Putting up more things. Emotional connection is a foundation for physical desire. The more we bond and laugh with somebody, the more we want them physically. Couples who make the time to emotionally check in with their partners report higher levels of satisfaction, both in and out of the bedroom. And number five, this one's a really cute one. Try and find a ritual that you guys can do together. Maybe it's breath work together. Maybe it's journaling together. Maybe it's meditating together. Maybe you like to pray together. Something that you can share together in stillness. We don't always have to fill the room with sound and voices and noise and communication. Sometimes we can just connect heart to heart in a coherent way without words. So all of that to say is that the spark isn't gone. It's just that the fire is a little bit dim. You just need to throw a little bit more wood on there. Put some kindling on it. Bring it back to life. You absolutely can. If you found this helpful, then please like, comment, subscribe, guys. Send this to your partner, send this to your friends, send that to that best friend of yours that's in that rut and wants to reignite her relationship. And I hope you found this helpful.